My name is Kumbuzo Vabaza, aka Scoop Alisto, and I'm a street artist, graph artist, sculptor, entrepreneur, and everything in between. So I think I just embody all of that shit and say I'm a creator. I think for me, man, like art is business, you know? Like people fail to realize that art is business. Uh, you have to be your own secretary, own marketing team, own production team, own online, you know, presence. Like from, from that to everything in between when it comes to also getting your supplies, when it gets to f goes to funding, when it goes to making sure that clients and collectors have your new catalogs of your latest works and so on and so forth, corresponding with galleries, companies, you know. So I think for me, being a creator, it also sort of, it also lends itself to finding new ways to channel your creation. So not just being an artist, you know, figuring out, okay, sure, I'm an artist, I can paint, now how am I going to expose the world to my style or to my work? So from even going to grassroots project, from even facilitating greater projects, working with the city, things like that, or working with other creatives, shouts out Black Nation, you know, so it's like, I think for me, like the concept of being a creator means to never stop thinking about creating and not limit your creation. To be totally honest, man, like being back home has been the best thing ever to happen to my painting career or like my painting in general. You know, it's just gotten so much more depth, so much more emotion, so much more feeling. Before, I mean, because you need to understand at least how I, see, how I see things. We live in such a socially dense country, you know. We have so much wealth when it comes to culture, when it comes to language, when it comes to history. Whereas places like America or whatever that are like 300 years old, or give or take a couple of hundred, whatever, but they don't really have that much depth, you know. They don't have that much connection to, 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 their, to their cultures or to, their, to the spirit or to the essence of their people. Because a lot of them, I guess, were coming in from different countries and whatever. So the influences we have are like infinite. And that's, that's what's, I mean, I, I think I see it now, obviously, like in the past five, 10 years, South African artists have been hitting the world scale like crazy. You know, cats like Okwe Malum Cool Cat and those cats have been literally just penetrating, you know, at the Anvoid or Nongupir. I can talk about a lot of people who have been touring and just hitting the world stage, you know. So I think we have like so much more to pull off our, our creative fishing pond is so much deeper and so many different kinds of fish. You know? I mean, it's, keep your doors open, you know, like I'm not just saying <clears throat> we have to like start a team and work against, but we do need insane unity, you know, we do need unity within to, to even to build our own, you know, our own industry, our own art market, because at the end of the day, you know, like People from all over the world aren't coming to Cape Town to see white art or see Western influenced art or see that. They're coming to Cape Town or they're coming to Africa to see Africa, you know, just to see what we have to what we have to offer and what how we live in. You know, so I think I think that's what's important for us to know, you know. To know that even, you know, like within our own societies, we have a lot to say and people want to know. People are curious, people are influenced and inspired by what we have to say, you know.